Today we're going to look at the mixer window in hydrogen, which is this window down here. Let me quickly just uh, add some instruments in here. And we'll add this here. And we'll go fill notes, randomize. We'll go add some more cowbell. Let's actually put that there. And we'll add some snare here and here. Let's see how that sounds. That's all right. So um, down here in the mixer window, off to the right here, you can see your master volume. We can lower that down some. And then you can also see, let me close this window, uh, each individual instrument and its volumes so you can lower the volume of the kicker if you want or raise it up snare drum whatever you, you know each instrument is labeled here let me zoom in here for you to show you what that looks like so you'll see you got your controller volumes here and your your names for each instrument here that correlate with the names up there here you have your left and right channels so if you wanted this instrument to play out more to the right you can turn that knob more to the right or left um, up here you have your solo play, which is the S here, and M is mute. Um, then uh, these four knobs are for effects channels, which we're going to get into in just a minute. Over here you have your human eyes, so we can turn that up. And what that does is it kind of makes it more like a human's playing. It kind of throws the beat off just slightly higher you put it, the more it does. Uh, not 100% sure what Thing does, but it does definitely change the way it's played. And Swing, you can hear, I don't know how to describe that, but it makes it swingy. <laughs> um, I always like to turn Human Eyes up, make our, your music sound a little less mechanical, I think. So, play with those knobs so you get where you like. Also down here, you'll have your Effects button. You click that, and it opens up these four effects uh, plug-in windows or options. We'll zoom in here. And you can see by default, no plug-in, no plug-in, no plug-in, no plug-in. So I'm going to click the edit button for this one. I'm going to select an effect and you'll see a list of effects. These are depending on what you have installed on your machine. I'm going to choose reverb and I'll choose this first one here and click OK. Now we don't hear any difference in the sound. That's because we haven't uh, turned that effect up on any uh, instruments yet. So here you can see, as I was saying earlier, there's four knobs. Those are for the four effects. So if you want uh, a certain effect to affect an instrument more, you turn the knob for that one up a little bit more. So example, I'll turn this first knob up on the kicker, and we'll hear that that reverb coming in. The higher I turn this up. A little more echoey on that. And I can turn it up on the uh, snare too. And uh, now we can go to our next uh, plug in here and choose a different one. And I'm just going to grab one at random, I guess. I uh, don't know if one. Uh, we'll choose this. Oh, chorus. Let's see how chorus sounds. We'll choose multi voice chorus. Okay, so that's our second one which uh, should be our second knob here. I'll turn that up on this stick. Let's see. Let's solo play that and see how that sounds. So that's it. Yeah, let's give it a little more of a chorus voice. Now you do have more options up here. We'll zoom in on this. So this one's our multi-voice chorus that we uh, is our plug-in two. This one's our reverb, which is our plug-in one. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit. So we have number of voices, which is all the way down. That's why we're not hearing that big of a difference. If we turn it up, we'll hear more. Delay bass, voice. So each one of these uh, sliders is going to be different for each plug-in. But let's start playing with those. Oh, well, there we go. So we got more voices. Do a delay here and see what that's in. Okay. And so that's that's the second knob here. Now we can add that to any instrument. Let's uh, turn it 
turn all the other instruments back on. And uh, let's turn it up on the kicker a little bit. So now you're hearing the the uh, chorus effect as well as the reverb effect on the kicker. So you can add four different plugins and adjust how much it affects each instrument with those four knobs at the top of each instrument here. So that's a quick look at the mixer window. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. For more video tutorials like this, visit filmsbychris.com. The link is in the description and it's Chris with a K. Have a great day.